I've been following your um, teachings for years. And I know, deep down, I can be, do, or have anything that I want. You believe the process. I, I believe the process. Um, with that in mind, life, life is easy for me. Yes. Um, I desire and whoops, there it is. Um, Not whoops, whoopee. No, whoopee, there it is. So there is little contrast in my life. Um, and oh, so, there's contrast. It's just not drastic. No, it's not. It's like, oh, somebody took the parking that the universe had chosen for me. You know, it's small. And so... Just let the air out of their tires. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so li life No is, one would do that. Li life is good. And, and I've kind of relaxed into this easy lifestyle. So like a lot of humans... I've spent the last 50 years or so working for a living at jobs that I really enjoyed doing while I was doing them. And now I have retired. And so there's nothing that is keeping my attention focused. Not structured. It's not structured. So your focus discipline must be greater. There's not as much distraction. Correct. So you, so you have to think deliberately more Correct. often. Correct. Yes. So I've already decided I want another 25 years of life. Yes. And the canvas is there. It's, it's stretched before me. Yes. I know that I am in contact with energy that creates worlds. Yes. And it's blank. I don't know what I want. Well, it's not blank. The vortex is full of it. You can't see it yet because... You think it's blank. In other words, it's not laid out for you like the responsibilities of your occupation or the responsibilities of raising a family or, 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 or. And so this is interesting because there are so many of you who find it easy to focus and perform your duties for the benefit of others but you're so selfless that you don't get out ahead of that for yourself as well. So this is the reason that we've been describing the way the universe works with such steady precision. Everything that you've lived through all those years you have been doing anything, you have been putting preferences into your vortex. Now, some of those preferences, it wasn't the right timing. But the thing that we want you to focus on with us right here and now is that each and every preference, especially those that you've been adding recently about wanting more attention, wanting to feel more calling, wanting to feel more sure of what you're doing, wanting to be able to see it so that it doesn't feel blank. Those, I know what I don't want, I know what I do want, they are strong and active in your swirling attraction-based vortex and your inner being is all over that. So this is the phrase that we want you to focus upon, cooperative components. I put a whole lot in there. As those components cooperate with each other, they take on a new look. They take on a new form. They take on a new energy. They take on a new frequency. They take on a new momentum. For the sake of this conversation, maybe it's easier for you to all hear it this way. Your vortex has almost outgrown you. That's why you can't see it because it is pure positive energy based. There's no resistance whatsoever in it. So when you say, I know that I can be or do or have anything that I desire, that's in perfect alignment with the vibration of your vortex and what your inner being knows. But when you say, but I need to know what it is before I let myself see it, then you are the one that are putting a sort of veil between you and it. And that's why you call it blank. Let's call it instead, let's call it general. It's not quite come into view for me. Esther has been having so many experiences recently, mostly since the pandemic, because there have been so many things that aren't quite structured for her like they have been. In other words, she's like you. She's wanting and needing and wanting and needing to focus more deliberately. 
And she has discovered that it takes more concentration and focus when you're by yourself and you're not rendezvousing with anyone today to stay focused upon the things that are a vibrational match to who you are and what you want. So she's been noticing that she'll get an impulse about something that doesn't seem to have any relationship with anything she thinks she wants or ever thought she wanted. It's just an impulse. But because she's sensitive to those impulses, she'll go along with it and doesn't usually, not always, but doesn't get too far into it before something shows up that she goes, oh, oh, and now she's sort of off to the races. Now something else comes, you know, how when you awaken from a, you know, you've been dreaming, but you can't remember what the dream was. And then something happens. Your inner being usually guides you to something that causes a trigger point and you remember. And then as soon as you get a little piece of the tail of that dream, more and more and more of it comes until you can remember the whole dream. Have you ever had that experience? So this is what happens with your vortex. Once you get close enough that you get just a little piece of it, then it begins to come fuller and fuller and fuller into view. But here's the thing that we really want you to hear. And here's the thing that you're asking for. And here's the thing that Esther is most excited about. You don't have to know it before you see it. It can show itself to you and you'll recognize it. You don't have to say, I want it to be this. Oh, there it is. And I want it to be this. Oh, there it is. You can say, I want it to feel like this. I want it to feel like fun. I want it to feel like clarity. I want it to feel like something I really want to do. And then when you see it, you know it. You're ravenous for it. Wild horses couldn't keep you from moving in the direction of that. So just relax and know that that's what's on your doorstep. That's what it's going to be coming. But it takes for someone like you, you're like Esther. We know this for sure about you. You've been practical and a facilitator and an organized person and a director. And so what we've encouraged Esther to begin saying, what I mostly am is a pointer. I'm a pointer. I like that. I like that. And not with the attitude of, I like that. I'd like to put that in my vortex and I'd like to put that in my vortex. That's too involved in your own business. That's you getting in your own way. I like that because it's beautiful. And I like that because it tastes good. And I like that because it's funny. And I like that because it's interesting. And I like that because it's beautiful. And I like that because it feels good. And I like that because it feels good on my face. And I like this shower and I like this jacuzzi and I like this swimming pool. And I like these shoes and I like this and I like this and I like this and I like this and I like this. And the more of those things that you're pointing at, I like that. I like that. I like that. What it does is it activates everything in your vortex that has anything to do with any of those things. And it begins to swirl in a way that then you begin to get called in a stronger way. Momentum is the name of the game. First, focus feeling, then recognized thought, just a little piece of the tail of it. And then off you go, then off you go. Do you accept that your vortex exists? Oh, sure. And do you know that there are all kinds of things in it that you put in that you might remember individually putting them in, but we're not advocates of trying to remember what you lived that caused you to put things in because most of what you lived that caused you to put things in the vortex are things that you're not wanting to live. That's the contrast that your inner being left completely behind. So the reason you don't recognize it is because like when you have what you call your death experience, there's no death, but when you reemerge into non-physical, just like that, your vortex is the positive contents of the life that you've lived. And if you don't recognize it, it's because your inner being is only keeping active the positive contents. So if you need to remember how it got there, you go into the negative bounce and then you can't recognize it. So that's why you've got to seek the contents of your vortex in general terms. I know it's going to be fun. I know it's going to be longevity. I know it's going to feel good. I know it's going to bring other people. I know that it's going to be collaborative. I know it's going to be satisfying. I know I'm going to know it when I see it. Jerry and Esther would be in a clothing store or a furniture store or a store, 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 store. Esther's favorite thing. She dragged Jerry into everything she could yank him loose into. And they would always say, can I help you find something? And Jerry's response was always, we're just looking for something to want. <laughs> oh, we're just looking for something to want. And the people in the stores would look at him like, 
you're weird and Esther would look back and she would say he is he is weird. he's wanting to find something to want well that's kind of what you're saying I'm wanting to find something to want but I can't see it yes you can it feels like fun it feels like fun it feels free when Esther hit the first pavement getting off at the first port on this cruise she could hardly catch her breath her feeling of enthusiasm was so high she did not realize how much she's been putting in her vortex that was there waiting for her every texture of every street and every face and everything about it she said to her friends that she was with I feel almost manic it's coming so fast there's so much I feel so high she didn't appear normal in the world but who would want to mm -hmm. helpful very helpful thank you don't compare yourself to Esther she's no, no, weird no. she's weird and she's out there yep. she's out there but you're right there yeah. you're right there my desire at the end I have this just big general desire and the desire is that when I croak and when I the inner being and I join together again we look back and we say it was a great innings and the 25 years at the end was the best yes. ever. However, we're going to clarify something for you. Your inner being wants us to. Your inner being never looks back because you never stop being in the now. This life experience is not something to be measured and then judged. There's no looking back. There's just now, now, now. And when you realize that, when you realize that that's the difference, that's the primary difference between the physical you and the non-physical you. Your inner being is not looking back in any form of justification of where you stand. Your inner being is just always 100% of the time reveling in where you stand. And so when you said, when I reemerge into non-physical and I join my inner being, you don't have to wait until you reemerge into the non-physical to join your inner being. Every time you're in a place of joy or fun or appreciation or love, you are in complete blending with your inner being here and now where you can savor it and translate it through physical senses. That's why Ketchikan felt so good to Esther because she was tuned in tapped in turned on and savoring through her physical senses and everything was incredibly magnificent everything yeah you gave me the key Thank yes you. we did Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. someone was sitting next to you yeah right here it is you but let's take a segment of refreshment and then begin with you. This is a good time for it. We are complete.